Zakir Naik and Ahmadidat have popularized an Ahmadiyya theory about Jesus' death called the Swoon Theory, which was first invented by Western atheists and then introduced to Muslims by the Ahmadis. Jesus, peace be upon him, was not resurrected from the dead on the cross. He was resuscitated. This is a very popular theory in the late 1700s, the beginning of the 1800s. However, it didn't last too long, and the main reason why is because a man by the name of David Strauss, who was himself an atheist, said if Jesus really did survive the crucifixion, then the disciples would not have reacted the way they did. You see, the disciples after the crucifixion were entirely changed, and they went around preaching the risen Lord. A hundred years ago, Mirza Ghulam Ahmed, the founder of the Ahmadiyya sect of Islam, introduced Venturini's swoon theory to the Muslim world while also claiming that he himself was the promised messiah, the Mahdi, and a subordinate prophet to Muhammad. Didat preached this Ahmadi Swoon theory in South Africa, but respected Sunni leaders and publications condemned Didat's method and opposed his Swoon theory as a non-Muslim Ahmadi theory, which is not Muslim doctrine. While Didat has gradually lost his credibility among Muslims in South Africa, his disciple, Zakir Naik, has revived Didat's theory in South Asia. Al-Razi has listed a number of significant problems with the substitution theory, which also strike out the swoon theory. First, it necessitates doubting the truthfulness of historical reports and ultimately doubting fundamentals. Second, since Jesus was aided by the Holy Spirit, why did he not simply protect himself? Third, if God was able to lift Jesus up instantly, what was the advantage of this whole deception? Fourth, this theory would end up misleading the eyewitnesses. That amounts to forcing ignorance and deception on people, and that is not worthy of God's wisdom. And fifth, the Christian in masses, east and west, reported that they saw him dying on the cross. If we deny the report, that would be doubting the historically transmitted reports, and such doubt necessitates doubt in the prophethood of Muhammad and the prophethood of Jesus, even their existence and the existence of all prophets. These five problems listed by al-Razi in his tafsir refute both the substitution theory and the swoon theory. But each of them disappear when we interpret the Qur'an as correctly saying that it was not the Jews, but the Romans that killed Jesus.